Good afternoon. Today is Saturday, April 19, 2014. I'm here for today's Bible reading. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Such a beautiful day out there today. Got the window open. The sun's just a shining. So beautiful. The birds are singing. Hopefully you guys are getting to go out and enjoy your day. So today we're going to read Luke 19, 28 through 48. After Jesus said this, he continued on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As Jesus came to Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he gave two disciples a task. He said, Go into the village over there. When you enter it, you will find tied up there a colt that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If someone asks, why are you untying it, just say, its, it's master needs it. Those who had been sent found it exactly as he had said. As they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, why are you untying the colt? They replied, its master needs it. They brought it to Jesus threw their clothes on the colt, and lifted Jesus onto it. As Jesus rode along, they spread their clothes on the ground. As Jesus approached the road leading down from the Mount of Olives, the whole throng of his disciples began rejoicing. They praised God with loud voice because of all the mighty things they had seen. They said, Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to the highest heavens. Some of the Pharisees from the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, scold your disciples, tell them to stop. He said, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones would shout. As Jesus came to the city and observed it, he wept over it. He said, If only you knew of this, of the days, the things that lead to peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. The time will come when your enemies will build fortifications around you, encircle you, and attack you from all sides. They will crush you completely, you and the people within you. They won't leave one stone on top of another within you because you didn't recognize the time of your gracious visit from God. When Jesus entered the temple, he threw out those who were selling things. He said to them, It's written, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a, into a den of thieves. Jesus was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests, the legal experts, and the foremost leaders among the people were seeking to kill him. However, they couldn't find a way to do it because all the people were enthralled with what they had heard. That was Luke 19, 28 through 48. Now we're going to go to Psalm 88, a song, a psalm of the Korites for the music leader according to Maalath, Leonoth, a masculine of Heman, the Hezerite. Hezerite, sorry, not Hezerite. Lord God of my salvation, by day I cry out. Even at night before you, let my prayer reach you. Turn your ear to my outcry, because my whole being is filled with distress. My life is at the very blink of, brink of hell. I am concerned as one of those plummeting into the pit. I am like those who are beyond help, drifting among the dead, lying in the grave like dead bodies, those who don't remember anymore, those who are cut off from your power. You place me down in the deepest pit, in places dark and deep. Your anger smothers me. You subdue me with it, wave after wave. Selah. You've made my friends distant. You've made me disgusting to them. I can't escape. I'm trapped. My eyes are tired of looking at my suffering. I've been calling out to you every day, Lord. I've had my hands outstretched to you. 
Do you work wonders for the dead? Do ghosts rise up and give you thanks? Selah. Is your faithful love proclaimed into the grave? Your faithfulness in the underworld? Are your wonders known in the land of darkness? Your righteousness in the land of oblivion? But I cry out to you, Lord. My prayer meets your first thing in the morning. Why do you reject my very being, Lord? Why do you hide your face from me? Since I was young, I've been afflicted. I've been dying. I've endured your terrors. I'm lifeless. Your fiery anger has overwhelmed me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like water. They engulf me completely. You've made my loved ones and companions distant. My only friend is darkness. That was Psalm 88. Now we're going to read, last but not least, Proverbs 13, 12 through 14. Hope delayed makes the heart sick. Longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Trouble will come on those who despise a word, but those who respect the commandment will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a person away from death traps. That was Proverbs 13, 12 through 14. That was today's Bible reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will... I will see you guys later on with some more stories offline. Um, not sure which section we're going to do today, but it'll be a surprise for you guys. Um, hope you guys continue to have a. I hope you're having a great day, and if you are, I hope you continue to have a great day and are enjoying this beautiful day we have out there. Hopefully, tomorrow will be just as beautiful on Easter. I love you guys. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and I'll see you later, God willing. Bye, guys.